Sup, y'all, bring you guys to another video. So, uh, yeah, let's bring you guys to my post fight thoughts of the fight between Manny Pacquiao and your Dennis Ugas. As we all know, they recently fought over in Vegas. Fight was shown live on pay per view here in the States. And, uh, yeah, where do I start with this fight? Obviously, the fight didn't go for Pacquiao's way. Fight ended up going the distance. Went the whole 12 rounds with Jordanis Ugas winning this fight by unanimous decision. It was arguably a close fight in my opinion. But with that being said, the judges definitely chose the right person. Jordanis Ugas deserved to win this fight. I had it 8 rounds to 4. I could see you giving 5 rounds to uh, Manny Pacquiao, but... Uh, you know, it's a little pushing. Actually, if you if you had it draw, that's way pushing it. If you had Manny Pacquiao winning, uh, that's pushing it way too far in, for my comfort. But it, definitely Ugas was the winner of this fight. Like I said, arguably close. But um, Ugas deserved the win. He boxed great, in my opinion. I thought they were going to rob him. Uh, I thought, you know, you know, knowing the sport of boxing and following the sport of boxing over the years, you you, you have a feeling like it, it it's gonna get it's gonna be a robbery. Um, you know, when this fight was announced, I already thought Ugas was gonna win, even though he would win in my eyes. I still thought he was gonna lose. Um, I knew Ugas was not gonna win at all because I thought, you know, I thought the boxing gods wanted Pacquiao over suspense. That's what I thought, but I guess not. I guess not. The boxing gods chose right, and Ugas improves to 27 and 4, 12 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikeo, successfully defending his WBA welterweight title. And actually, it's more like winning the WBA title because he he, he won the fight, the belt against Abel Ramos, the vacant belt, and you know it wasn't really much of a win and him beating Manny Pacquiao legitimized, I guess, his uh, status as a, as a world champion, considering that Manny Pacquiao was the WBA champion who got stripped off the belt. So, um, so yeah, Ugas, you know, big congratulations to him. Uh, 27 and 4, 12 wins come by way of Nakar Tikeo has a big name and big win against a legend in the sport of boxing in Manny Pacquiao. Not trying to take anything away from your Dennis Ugas, but let's be honest. He's, he was fighting an old Manny Pacquiao, a 42-year-old Manny Pacquiao, who showed that he has definitely aged compared to two years ago when he fought Keith Thurman. He just didn't have that much pop in his punches. The timing wasn't there. He obviously looked older, slower. He just wasn't there. Jordanis Ugas did a spectacular job using his jab. Following up with his right, the jab in the right hand. I mean, leading up to this fight, there were some talks on social media. I made a video about it as well, uh, about possible a possible injury on your Dennis Ugas. He definitely was not injured. If you ask, if you from what I saw, he definitely was not injured. I thought he was using the jab spectacularly against Manny Pacquiao to nullify Manny Pacquiao's advances, and as well as using his uh, long reach to. Uh, hit Pacquiao from a distance. I thought Pacquiao was throwing his punches way too far. I guess he couldn't gauge the distance properly. I don't know. Maybe, it, you know, he, he's he's old. Manny Pacquiao's old. Let's be honest. He's 42 years old. It's time for him to retire. Two years of not fighting was not a good thing, in my opinion. Um, you know, it... People don't get better over time, physically wise. And Pacquiao is a physical monster, man. And he relies on his physicality to win fights. And as you age, you slow down. You do slow down. It may be hard to believe to some, but you do slow down. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate that Pacquiao... I don't know, man. I'm I, watching this fight as a big Manny Pacquiao fan growing up over the past 15 plus years of watching Manny Pacquiao over the years from my childhood in the Philippines to, you know, now living here 
you know, living the American dream myself, uh, you know, owning my own house, uh, you know, here in the States. Um, you know, it's been great watching Manny Pacquiao over the years. As a boxing fan, this fight was hard to watch in the end because, you know, I was telling, you know, because I host, I hosted the event here in my house. My wife is working, so it was me here in the house by myself. So that's why I'm a little late with this video. It's almost like, it's like 5.30 in the morning because I was, I was up all, all the time. Like the, I took like a few hours to clean up and wash dishes here and there. But anyway, like I, I was telling my, my buddy who, who was here and also everybody who was here, who, who, you know, that this was this fight between Pacquiao and Ugas. It's pretty much the last time we'll have, a, a, you know, a get together for a Pacquiao fight. You know, as a boxing fan, obviously I'll still continue to watch boxing. I'll, I'll follow the sport of boxing. You know, but there's just something about those those moments where you gather and you create memories and moments as a family and you know as a family and friends um, watching these fights, like Pacquiao fights. And, um, you know, Pacquiao is not there anymore. At least that's what I think. I, I, I think, I know he was not clear after the fight. He said that he'll think about it and all that. But in my opinion, it's definitely time for the legend to retire. Nobody is trying to discredit Manny Pacquiao at all. The guy has done great things in the sport of boxing. He is one of the GOATs. He is one of the greatest, if not the greatest of all time in the sport of boxing. He definitely has, you know, he, he definitely is up there. No doubt about it. Whether you're a fan of him or not, he is. And, you know, there just comes a time where you, you, you know it's, it's time to hang them up. And I think it's time for Pacquiao to hang them up. I think so. In my opinion, um, yeah, I, I, it's definitely time to retire. Do I think there's a chance he might come back? Yeah, I do. Money talks. As long as there's somebody out there willing to pay Pacquiao like what, 10, 20 million dollars to come back. I'm sure Pacquiao might be itching for that money, you know, to use that money to fund his uh, political uh, goals. And as well as his charity goals. Um, but we'll see, man. We'll see how things go. Um, I, I do hope it's it, this is it, though. I, I do hope that he retires, though. And uh, when it comes to what's next for your Dennis Ugas, if you look at the rankings, Ugas is now the sole main man in at 147 pounds for the WBA. WBA is ridiculous with their regular champion with Jamal James. And gold champion with Virgil Ortiz Jr. But uh, now, obviously, Pacquiao is no longer the champion in recess after losing this fight. Uh, Errol Spence is a fight that makes sense. An easy fight to make. Both fighters are under PBC. Let's see that fight. Obviously, Spence, Crawford is the fight to make. But I don't think we can see that fight anytime soon. I don't think Top Rank and uh, Golden, a uh, Top Rank and PBC are willing to work it with each other to make Spence versus Crawford. But, uh, you know, that can wait while Spence fight Ugas. Because I think Ugas is, you know, Spence versus Ugas makes for a good fight. I think so. And, um, yeah. Yeah. Honestly, I'm getting tired, man. My, my, my eyes are droopy right now. It's, like I said, it's almost 5.30 in the morning. I got I some sleep. So, um, Manny Pacquiao, you will always be a legend. You'll always be one of the greatest. I'll keep you guys updated on what he decides to do. But I, I think it's definitely time to retire. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.